did the founding fathers of America intentionally mold African Americans into an unspoken defense force for the United States? Could the brutal acts of slavery and abuse have been part of a grand scheme to indoctrinate them into considering America their home? As we dive into the tumultuous period of American independence, we find ourselves in the late 18th century. The colonial revolt has reached its apex and those yearning for liberty are ready to break free from the tyranny of the British crown. But hidden within this struggle for freedom, a more insidious plan was being hatched. They knew that victory would require more than just military might. It would require a cunning strategy, one that would secure the future of their fledgling nation for generations to come. In the throes of this rebellion, the Founding Fathers, a group of influential men with a vision for a new nation, began to weave a complex tapestry of power. They recognized the potential of the indigenous African-American population, not as equals, but as a tool for their own ends. Amidst whispered conversations and clandestine meetings, a plan began to take shape, a plan so audacious, so controversial that it would forever alter the course of history. It was a plan to harness the strength and resilience of a people who had endured centuries of oppression and injustice, the indigenous American blacks. For years, these African Americans had been subjected to the horrors of slavery, their bodies broken, their spirits crushed beneath the weight of chains and cruelty. But the founding fathers saw something more in them. They saw a potential untapped power waiting to be unleashed. The founding fathers began to implement a strategy of manipulation and indoctrination. African Americans were subjected to brutal acts of slavery and abuse, not just as a means of economic gain, but as a method of control. The goal was to make America their home, to instill in them a sense of loyalty and duty to a land that had shown them nothing but cruelty. And so in the shadows of revolution, a secret pact was made. The African Americans would be subtly groomed, conditioned to believe that America was their home, their destiny. They would be given the illusion of freedom, of opportunity, all the while being subtly manipulated to serve as the unspoken defense force of the United States from outside invaders who landed on its shores. Through calculated acts of systematic racism and exploitation, the African Americans were programmed to feel a fierce loyalty to their newfound homeland. They were told that their place of birth was too far to return to, that America was where they belong. And so, with each passing generation, they grew more deeply entrenched in the fabric of American society their allegiance to the nation cemented with every chain that bound them. As the years passed, this plan began to take shape. The African-Americans, despite the hardships they faced, showed resilience and strength to a plan derived and implemented for the survival of the generations of the founding fathers to come. But it was not just loyalty that the founding fathers sought to instill in the African-Americans. It was a sense of duty, a willingness to sacrifice everything in defense of their forgotten homeland. And so, when the shores of America were threatened by foreign invaders, the white descendants of the founding fathers were instructed to sit back and allow the program blacks to lay down their lives in defense of the land. First, knowing their hearts would be ablaze with a sense of purpose, their resolve unshakable. They became an integral part of the American fabric, fighting its wars, building its cities, and contributing to its culture. 
for the future battles to come, it would be the African Americans who stood on the front lines, their bodies serving as a shield against the forces of tyranny and oppression. The founding fathers laughing with joy while writing in their playbooks on how to make the Negro fight for something that they could never own. They will fight, not just for their own freedom, but for the freedom of a nation that had long denied them their rights and dignity. All for a little piece of the American dream and a dream it will be to them, LOL. We will coin the phrase Pan-Africanism, giving the American Negro a sense of identity. We will elect, coach, and provide scripted instructions to their chosen voices. We will allow them to call us colonizers all while giving them false hope of returning to a fictitious homeland that will be set up to rob and con them out of their earning, forcing them to return to the States if they ever decided to try and call any other place home besides America. The Founding Fathers plan, however twisted and inhumane, seem to have achieved its intended effect. Gang members will be provided guns and ammo, pitting them against each other, allow them to be self-taught on how to kill. We will provide drugs and alcohol so they can self-medicate and make illogical decisions while under the influence. We will allow a handful of them to become rich and famous, giving the illusion of the American dream. We will continuously dome them down with music and entertainment that show them nothing of substance to help them better themselves. We will encourage the birthing of wayward children by them while using the prison system to train them in a military style of habit. We will set a budget for this calling at Warefare and allow that budget to be replenished by the child support system, which will serve as a four-part attack system. Attacking the character of the person ensnared by it, robbing the person that has been unfortunate to be caught in its trap, giving the females of the race power over the men, making the men powerless to rebel or see daylight and last but not least of the system. Child support would serve as a vehicle to send the fathers and their sons to prison to be trained. By African-Americans being subjected to unimaginable horrors due to this plan will make them the unofficial defense force for the United States. They would have been manipulated into protecting and serving a country that had once enslaved them with no pay or benefits other than to keep what little they have obtained through their struggles. But as the dust settled and victory was secured, the descendants of the founding fathers returned to their comfortable lives, content to bask in the glory of their triumph. And amidst the celebrations and accolades, the sacrifices of the African Americans were all but forgotten, their contributions relegated to the footnotes of history. The legacy of this plan is evident in the African American community's continued struggle for equality and justice. Yet, it also manifests in their unwavering dedication to the United States. Despite the scars of the past, African Americans consistently show their commitment to their country, often defending it with their lives. The Founding Fathers' plan, born out of a desire for power and control, has left a lasting impact on the African-American people. It serves as a stark reminder of the country's dark past and potential future, but also a testament to the strength and resilience of the African-American community. The plan may have been born from oppression, but it has inadvertently fostered a spirit of resistance and determination that continues to shape the present state of America. This fictitious story of manipulation and resilience is a painful but crucial part of a possible American conspiracy. 
It's a reminder of the lengths to which the powerful will go to maintain control. But in the quiet moments that followed, as the echoes of battle faded into memory, a truth emerged, a truth that would forever haunt the nation's conscience. For in the heart of America's darkest hour, it was the indigenous American blacks who had risen to defend her shores, their courage and sacrifice a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. And though their deeds may have been forgotten by some, their legacy would endure, a reminder of the price of freedom and the power of the human soul.